Good evening. I'm Cindy Shu. The community raised $60,000 to help the single mother who says she's dying of cancer. But police are now investigating whether any of it was true. CBS News' Brian Conybeare has the story new at 11. Shivani Diokaran certainly looks like a cancer patient in the pictures she posted on fundraising websites. And when the single mother of two teenage boys told people in the Westchester village of Ardsley she only had 18 months to live, they opened their hearts and their wallets. Town Supervisor Paul Finer, who spoke to us via Skype, actually used the Greenberg Town website to solicit donations. Immediately, within 24 hours uh, from my posts, we raised about $12,000. And that was only the beginning. One GoFundMe page raised more than $25,000, another more than 10000 But CBS2 has confirmed police are now investigating whether it was all a ripoff. A police source says after getting a tip, investigators asked Dio Karin for medical records to prove her cancer claims. But instead of turning them over, she closed her Indian restaurant in nearby Dobbs Ferry and suddenly moved to Florida last month. It's horrible. People are taking advantage of the kindness of their neighbors. You can't trust, unfortunately. Dio Curran's sons went to Ardsley High School, and the entire community rallied to help pay medical costs and other bills, even for an adopted dog named Gia to comfort Dio Curran. The Ardsley High School football team and the volunteer fire department even held a fundraising spaghetti dinner here at the firehouse last November, raising another $16,000 for the family. It's a good community of uh, people who will work hard. John Clear is a longtime volunteer firefighter who helped out at the fundraiser. It's disappointing that somebody would do that. And if this proves to be a $60,000 scam, people may not be as generous next time. It would make it much harder to raise funds in the future for other people who desperately need help. Dio Curran's boyfriend, Nicholas Parekh, told CBS2 they would not comment on the allegations until they talked to their lawyer. In Ardsley, Brian Connie Bear, CBS2 News.